What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Will back with another video. Now today, 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 we got a, you know, a little another high take video informational video. I'm looking for my controller so I can start this damn gameplay. But we got this little informational video. Um, make sure y'all please like, comment, subscribe if you're new, man. Brand new content coming on the way. About to go to the gym, get y'all some bags, some more IR wheels, some shooting contests going. If you want to play me, you know, hit my Instagram. Um, and then that's pretty much it. Make sure y'all hit that like button. We've been growing. I've been looking at my analytics a lot more, so I'm gonna come start coming to y'all a little bit differently. Um, working on some, some of my weaknesses as far as everything. But I don't want to say too much. Now let's get into this video. Uh, the sad truth. I wouldn't say the sad truth. Or should I make the sad truth? The sad truth about Kyrie Irving. Now this isn't sad. I'm coming at y'all as a basketball person. It's two different versions of Will. Y'all know me. You know, it's a fan, a, a fan, somebody on like a spiritual, mental level, and then it's the in between. So, um, from coming from a basketball fan standpoint, uh, the truth about Kyrie Irving. Now, since the Cavs season with LeBron, people make it out to be LeBron, people make it out to be injury, people make it out to be diva. It's all these excuses and things about Kyrie when Kyrie is really a genuine, loving person. You know, he might do a lot of, you know, you know what I'm saying? He might slump on the Celtics or uh, sell them. They gonna come back and never do. It might do a little earthful mean stuff. But in reality, he is a, a genuine and nice, cool person. Um, I would say that the, the truth about him is just looking at his stats and watching him play, watching some of the media takes that's been on him, watching some of the stuff that's happened with him in the last four years or so, you know, demanded to trade away from LeBron after shooting more shots than LeBron. Gets to Boston, gets injured, gets to um, Brooklyn. Well, he got he was in, he was injured in Boston and then they flamed out. They got beat by Giannis, and that series. His mental, like, I just didn't feel like it was there in that series against Giannis. And so I would definitely say, like, that's when I started noticing something was off. Because Kyrie was my favorite, well, my second favorite player to LeBron um, until about last year. But he's still one of my favorite people, like, basketball aside. I still love Kyrie. I still got love for him. Uh, even though he don't know me, I'm not saying it like he's my brother. I ain't know nothing weird, you know what I'm saying? You know, some weird people out here, but yeah, like I just, you starting to notice like more and more he's mentally becoming away from the game of basketball and losing his passion and love for the game of basketball. And it's more focused on some of the spiritual and more serious problems in this world. Which, I mean, based on you, you can either hate that or love that. You know, some people love to be a fan in other sport and want Kyrie to be Kyrie. You know, the Cavs season was the last time he played 72 games out of 82. Ever since that, 20 games, 52 games, 60 games, 52. Not a full season play. He's averaging more points, but he's not playing as much games. So he's averaging, you know, 27 and 20 games, 26 and 54 games, but he's not playing that much. And then, he really doesn't care, I feel like, about the game of basketball in general. He, it's a lot of stuff that we might not know as fans that goes on behind closed doors with the NBA. You know, it's always conspiracy theories. I'm not going to get into anything like that. But, yeah, it's, you never know. It's stuff that he can really, I feel like he's probably at odds with. You know, he's the narrative is made out to dislike him. He already had the flat earth uh, theory come out and, you know, people like Max Kell Kellerman dogging him and just judging him. And j just to judge somebody as a sports analyst when you're just a regular person in general, like you can't, if you're not a scientist or you're not uh, somebody that's been to outer space, I don't feel like you can, you can disrespect or judge or make fun of people's characters for having their own personal opinion. So no matter if you believe cats can fly, I don't, me personally should not judge you unless I have that much experience that knows cats can fly. And even if I do have that much experience, I shouldn't be degrading you for having the least amount of experience. So I would definitely say that, uh, like just the media in general dislikes him. 
you know, they play the, the bad narrative role. But I really just, you can see that he really don't care about basketball. It's just in general. Like, his passion. Like, we'll see next year. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe next year he plays 70 games or so. Maybe KD can get into him. But he takes breaks and he don't, he kind of does what he wants to do. He talks more about, like, even in his interviews, he speaks more in messages and and now, and he's kind of a big person, so they can't just get rid of him. Like, hey, stop talking about that. They can't shine a light on him like Kyle Kaepernick or somebody like that. He's speaking on a lot of different serious issues that a lot of people in the United States don't, don't know about that's going on with African-American people. And I respect it. I mean, I appreciate it a lot. I do miss Kyrie Irving, the player. I wouldn't say he should give up on what he's doing to go back to being that. Cause that's just an entertainment version of himself. If you guys understand where I'm coming from, like basketball, putting on a show, you know, shooting, being in the NBA, that's all the entertainment business. He's going away from his entertainment business to try to do something more important and more bigger and more influential on the world. And what people are doing is they're debunking him and discrediting him and which and talking about him, which is more making him not want to play basketball, which is more making him not want to. It's like, it's like basketball is a job for him. That's the best way for me to describe it. It's like basketball in general is like his, his five to nine. It's nine to five. He gonna go, he gonna participate. He don't like that shit. He not gonna put in no extra work if he don't need to. Of course, he Kyrie, he gonna always be good. He always gonna play basketball. But the NBA in general is not where his love and his heart is at. I definitely can see that. I don't know if I'm wrong. Because you guys let me know. I mean, maybe I could just be off. Maybe it's injury. Maybe it's this. Maybe he's a diva. I don't personally feel like he's a diva. I just feel like he don't care about basketball or in general. Like, I feel like he's only playing right now because KD's on his team. I, they just traded him to fucking Oklahoma. That nigga will retire. Excuse my language, but I, I really feel like he'll retire. I don't blame him. Like, I'm not judging him. I'm not against it or nothing, but I really feel like he don't. He, he just, I don't know. I have friends that don't have the same passion for basketball that they used to. You know, I'm not I'm not that good. I'm not pro level or NBA level. I got a huge passion for basketball. I got a more of a passion for people. I got more of a passion for basketball than people that's making money off it. And I have made a single dime off basketball. So, I don't know. Uh, but that's my personal opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think, what y'all expect from them next season. I think next season gonna be more of the same. You know, gonna play, get injured. He might make it through a playoff run next season, but I think next season gonna be more of the same. Uh, we might do a Nets rebuild. I'm gonna see about doing rebuilds. My um video, like my storage on my Xbox only go up to three minutes for some reason. If anybody got a fix for that, let me know. If you made it this far in the video though, I'm trying to get everybody to start going through the video. Come and go bang or no game. We're gonna enter a contest. I'm gonna just do a little raffle. I'm gonna buy y'all NBA 2K22. So uh, make sure I mention that at the end of the video because you know some people skip around or you know exit out at the end. If you made it this far, just comment down below, go gang or no gang, and you're gonna be entered. I'm gonna write your name down in the rifle for me to get you 2K22. You know, I'm gonna have to find what console you play on and all that shit if you win. But make sure y'all please like, comment, and subscribe if y'all are new. Hit that sub button. We've been going up on Instagram. We've been blowing up on TikTok. Almost starting to blow up on YouTube, man. It's going to get real serious around here. Real MFing serious around here, man. So make sure y'all in tune. Make sure y'all supporting me on my journey. I appreciate everybody and all my likes, my subs, and my subscribers. Let's get right, my boys. Let's go.